Hello YouTube, it is Champion DJK coming at you again with another Auto World case unboxing. You guys know I'm always excited to do these. Um, so I've got a uh, premium 2021 release four. These came a little late, um, which is just because, you know, supply chain stuff, all that jazz. You guys are familiar with what's going on within the world and, uh, you know, everything Everything these days seems to be delayed. Looks like these were actually manufactured back in um, July of last year. So that's how long it took them to get over here. And uh, just kind of crazy, right? But really, really cool. We've got, uh, you know, of course, the version A and the version B. These are sealed cases. We have a chance of scoring an ultra red. Maybe an ultra raw. I mean that would be that would be insanity. I did jump the gun on this set a little bit, so I because I um, I did already purchase three ultra reds from this release, so I have half of them already, um, and I'll show you those when we get to um, after we're done unboxing. We see what we scored in here. We're gonna of course we're gonna start with the version A. Um, you can tell where these came from probably by this label. They slap this label on top. They do keep these sealed. I have scored chases in them before. Um, so I'm excited for it. This is a pretty solid set from Auto World. <clears throat> you guys know I'm a little biased because I dig the brand so much. But uh, anyway, we're going to go through it. We're going to hopefully score a chase. And hopefully if we do score a chase, it's going to be one that I don't already have. So starting with the square body Chevy. Uh, limited to 18,798 pieces. Uh, this is the first release of the 84 model year. They were built for 15 years straight, making replacement parts and aftermarket accessories readily, readily available. This one's in light dark, light dark blue poly. It's kind of a weird uh, showing of the color there. Uh, yeah, I guess it is that color. <clears throat> it's kind of hard to see, but it's got a lighter blue and then the darker blue stripe in it. <clears throat> and it's very nice. Um, this is version A car, 1984. Um, let me take a look at the card art real quick. We'll just take a quick spin around of this. So these all have unique front card art. They're going to have a rendering of the vehicle, uh, which is cool because it shows the license plate straight up, which is nice. Close up. <clears throat> and then, of course, on the back... Um, Auto World, it's a goal to create the most accurately scaled 164 die-cast replicas possible, bringing uh, collectors the cars they they crave most. And it, it's really cool. Uh, this brand is just amazing. It really is. <clears throat> That's why I like them. You know, 164 scale cars, super high quality stuff, and at a price point that's not like a crazy premium price. So that's what, why I think they're kind of the best value maybe all right next of course this was a heavily anticipated one the brand new tooling this 1977 lincoln continental mark 5 and i've got one of these loose already i could not wait i bought one from a hobby dealer uh sc diecast who i got a bunch of auto world singles of i kind of show them in the next uh, weekly episode likely um, but i do have a version of this loose already this thing is absolutely amazing in medium blue diamond bright we don't have the ultra out of this one. This would have been a cool one to pull. Um, limited to 16,206 pieces. Take a little quick look at the card art there. Brand new casting, first release. And this thing does not disappoint. It is absolutely beautiful. Fantastic choice from Auto World to go ahead and do this uh, car. Uh, definitely a cool one. All right. And in true 164 scale, the thing is massive. All right, next we get the... 1993 Dodge Stealth RT. Um, I think this is the third set that this has been in, or maybe even the fourth. I'm looking. Um, you know, it debuted in red, and then it came out in white and green. And has it come out since then? I don't think so. I think it was white and green, and then I think this is the third, the third time that we've seen it in a set. Pretty darn sure. <clears throat> so, and here it is in. Uh, Dark silver. Uh, so they mentioned the partnership between Mitsubishi Motors Corp. and Chrysler, um, which is cool because, of course, we're going to see the 3000 GT, the Mitsubishi, uh, will come out eventually. I think this year that tooling will show up. Um, I guess we'll have to see. Uh, limited to 14,478 pieces. There's still a release five of this, which actually... I did get it. I got the set A of release five already. I don't have set B. I might just do an unboxing video just for that one set. Let's see. 
All right, next is the 2019 Chevy Camaro ZL1 in black. Um, pretty neat. Looks good in black. Uh, every time I see a black auto world car, I think about wanting to put all my black ones together because I think that would be kind of cool to look at. Uh, they've released almost every one of their castings. They've released in just an all black color. I mean, it's a popular color for a real car, so why not? Uh, 15,390 pieces, 650 horsepower. You can read those fast facts or premium facts there. Uh, pretty cool. All right, that's uh, number four. The next one is the 2020 Chevy Corvette in torch red. Uh, this is just a great casting. Uh, 15,702 pieces. Very, very cool. That was so popular that the Chevrolet.com had five times the normal daily traffic in the first 24 hours of showing off this thing, mid-engine Corvette. Um, it's it's a great one. I actually, I did already buy one of these, so I do have one of these already. This will be a duplicate. I didn't open my other one yet, but <clears throat> I, of course, will. And then lastly, we got the 1963 Chevy 2 Nova 400 wagon in ermine white and one of 15,126 pieces. So they're making a lot more of these than when they started doing these premium sets and started numbering them. Uh, 10 times more, actually. Which is good, though, because it's just that shows you that Auto World is gaining in popularity and uh, that they are able to sell these out is absolutely fantastic. So good job, Auto World. Um, good job, Ron, too, I should say. And Johnny Lightning has just been massively cool lately as well. So... The brand's doing well, and that's that makes me happy because I am a fan. All right, so that is your version A. We did not score a chase in this one. That's okay. We need the regular ones, too. Of course, I am a completionist when it comes to the Ultra Red, so at least for the store releases, I try to be for everything else, too. It's just really difficult to do. Um, so, of course, you know, I want to get all the Ultra Reds for this, and I'll show you the three that I do have uh, pretty soon here. Maybe four after this case. Maybe? Maybe? Are we going to get lucky on the version B case? Come on. Let's pull a chase. Let's do it. Um, let's pull a chase. That would be fantastic. All right, so version B. Of course, if you're not familiar with Auto World, this is how they release their cars. They're six car sets. They release version A's and version B's per each release for their standard store releases. And um, what that is basically is you get two different colors of the car. Sometimes there's other, a few other little changes as well to the car, but most of the time it's, it's color. So version B, we get the Camaro in white, one of 15,390 pieces in summit white and it does look really good in white actually so you get a black one and you get a white one in this set that's pretty good you know i'm not a huge fan of this car i'm just not like the camaro i just don't think it's a very attractive car i'm not i've mentioned it i mention every time i look at it but it's still really cool they did a really nice version of it for auto world all right next is absolutely fantastic in black the lincoln continental mark V and 1977 flavor and this thing is yeah just bad this thing is just really cool um you can read the facts there if you'd want to this lincoln had a fuel capacity of 26 gallons only averaging 10 miles per gallon not something you really want to be driving around right now all the time uh 16,206 pieces Limited to. Uh, these things have Alabama plates on them. 1977. And, uh, yeah. Pretty neat. Alright, next is... The VAT. The 2020 Chevy Corvette. And it looks really good in Accelerate Yellow. This is actually a fantastic color for this vet. It talks about uh, more of the uh, live stream revealing the Corvette. Motor Trend Car of the Year. I mean, it's pretty awesome. I, I, I am a fan. 
I think uh, I think that the Corvette's great as a mid-engine vehicle. A lot of people said it looked a little too much Ferrari, but you know, the more you look at it, it just really does look like a VAT to me. Um, you know, I'm wrong. What's the uh, is it Utah plates on it? It does. C8 LT2. <clears throat> Oh, shout out to John Lambert on the Utah plates. That's pretty cool. It's a nice little touch from Monorail to put license plates on the vehicle. Uh, next is the Dodge 1993 Dodge Stout, the Peacock Green. So they've released this in a green. This is not the green that it initially was released in. The initial one was actually like a forest green uh, look. Uh, this one is peacock green, and it is a weird color. It's almost like a blue, palish blue, green kind of thing going on. It's a hard color to explain. That's why I like how they do these factory colors that are kind of unique. And, I mean, this is, like, probably really hard to see on camera, actually, the actual color of this. Especially on that, like, gray background. I'm just not seeing it through, you know, the camera here, but I can see it in person. It's uh, it's an interesting color. It really doesn't match the card art so much, but the paint color, it's just, it's weird. It's, that's, I guess that's all I'm going to say is it's, it's a weird, it's a weird color. So what do you guys think of that? All right. So limited to 14,478 pieces, the Dodge Stealth RT. Just another great decision to do that casting. Uh, Auto World. That was an exciting one. Uh, the next is the... In red, orange, and black, the 84 Chevy Silverado 10 fleet side. Again, the other 84. I do have a version of this, or I have this already. I did buy one of these. I bought one of these, I bought one of these, and I bought one of these from uh, my local hobby dealer, SC Diecast. 18,798 pieces. Um, pretty cool i mean it's a square body it's going to be popular right this one is definitely not as cool as the other color the blue one um it's it's still nice but it's not as i don't know it's not as cool as that other one so there's that and we got one last car please be a chase pull a chase although if it's not that's all right because i'm excited for this one anyway this is the silver blue poly 1963 Chevy 2 Nova 400 wagon and this thing looks just awesome with those wheels fantastic the thing looks so mean with those wheels like look at how the difference totally tame totally mean looking that's just a uh, completely different right it's just a wheel change that does that I mean the color is different obviously too but the wheel change though the wheel change. I mean, that is amazing. All right, so let's take a look at a couple ultra reds. We didn't, we didn't score any, of course. Um, but here's one that's going to tell you right off the bat what the traits are. So here's an ultra red of that Nova. Um, so they got red tires. They have ultra red body. They have white bases this time around. Um, I think they also have an ultra red interior. Yeah, it looks like they do. Ultra red interior. And they go after the version b car which is why this is you know this is on a version a card but it's got the wheels basically of the version b card oh and they also have white rims so there's a lot going on with these reds white rims white base red tires red body red interior ultra red interior you know there might even be something under the hood you'd never know um but we're not going to open this right now we're going to save that for the weekly video uh, we'll open up that one we're going to also so tune into my weekly videos if you want to see this um the next one I got is the Camaro. Uh, so this one's pretty cool too. Uh, this one, of course, again, you got the white rims, uh, red body, red interior, white base, red tires. Uh, looks pretty awesome. It's a cool combination. And of course, this is going to be after the version B car, which I don't know if that makes much of a difference on this one. Yeah, I suppose it does because it's got that flat black uh, hood, whereas this one would have a gloss black hood so you can tell the difference <clears throat> all right and then lastly the one that i've got is this one right here this is the uh, of course the dodge stealth um, again white rims white base red tires red body red interior um and then of course it goes after the version b but this one i don't think there's going to be a way to separate the traits the plate 
Uh, they put, sometimes they do just change the plate too, but not this one. Oh, this is a pencil. Is it a Pennsylvania plate? Yeah. Uh, but anyway, so there's really nothing. I mean, there's no other thing besides color difference, I don't think, here. So between version A and version B. So that's not a way to tell. But they do go after the version B traits. All right, that's going to be it for this unboxing video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed another Honorable one. Uh, thank you guys very much for watching again. I really do appreciate it. Of course, as always, thank you and have a great day.